Hello and welcome to 5J Gaming. I'm 5J and today we're going to be playing another game donated by Injured Gamer 1985. Boy, I don't remember what number we're up to, but it's well over 10 at this point. So thank you, IG. This is Fox and Forsts. It looks like a really cool looking 16 bit style game. Uh, you can hear the music is only kind of 16 bit, you know, paying homage, but isn't directly 16 bit so yeah yeah we got a bunch of folks in here already so let's uh let's see here we got john dalzell prince edward chelsea mr potato lopez john early master of fails is back what's up dude uh jet sun so many folks thanks so much guys thank you for coming uh let's see John Early says, how old is that hat, Jay? It's like brand new, man. I just got it. Does it look old? I mean, it's still really white. I can't... Why would you think it's old? Mr. Buffalo says, 5J, I really want to apologize for not being very active lately. Oh, that's okay, dude. Just a lot of things to do right now. You know how it goes. I know how it goes. I really do love being a part of these streams. They're really fun. Glad to hear it, dude. Glad to hear it. Jetson says, I have an Xbox One. Nice. That's good, man. So next time we do some multiplayer games, we will get some folks involved. Buffalo says, I should be getting back to being active soon, hopefully. That'd be great. JD says, I feel like Injured Gamer is Jay's favorite regular. <laughs> well, you can't you buy affection, man. Y'all my favorites. If you're a regular, you're a favorite. That's how it works. You're my favorite. Okay, that, that doesn't work. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> John says, Jay, did you get a bad haircut? Why is everyone asking if I got a haircut, like, every day? Like, I get haircuts, seriously, once every, uh, five months. Last time it was eight or nine months. So, yeah, not, not happening. John says, I thought the logo looked old. Ah, no, I think it's just old-fashioned, like, classic baseball font. But, no, it's, it's not an old hat. Let's see what this game's about! Once upon a time, a naughty fox named Rick was about to commit a little crime. Eating a bird be a crime? I mean, I don't see how. Patty the Partridge was outraged, told Rick uh, that she doesn't taste good and that he should look for some other food. <laughs> Quite the story so far. But then she had a clever idea, almost forgetting why... In the first place, she was here. Okay. Patty asked Rick for help to fight the evil green-eyed horde, promising many treasures as his reward. Oh, now we're rhyming. Oh my goodness. Rick agreed and promised that he will be kind. Let us just hope that they do not have different ideas in mind. Keeping with the rhyming scheme here. Oh boy, that's a weird setup right there. That's a weird one. Um, JD says, technically I'm two regulars. Well, Jetson technically three counts. Can't be considered a regular yet because this is only the second one, but could be, could be. Jetson's this streams are fun to watch because the YouTuber chats with his fans. Exactly, exactly. Buffalo says, yeah, you kind of went full Metallica bef uh, before you got a haircut a while back. It See, exactly. Slimes is here. What's up, dude? He says, hi, Jay, friend. What's up, man? How's it going? I love Fearless is here. Thank you for uh, joining the channel. Says, I know Andrew. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Um, Bro, right? Michael Bro's uh, son, Andrew. Nice. Very cool. Well, welcome to the stream. JD says, I can't wait for Black Sabbath, Jay. Like a concert of Black Sabbath? Are they coming? I'm not all that interested in this story. We'll let this move on here. While we read more chats, it's so active right now. Thanks for being active, guys. Gilbert Renata is back. What's up, dude? He says, hey, 5J, I watched the first part of Super Mario today. Happy to see that you're doing a playthrough. Yeah, I had a, a poll going, so you guys decided, really. Slime says, I got my Elgato, and I don't know what to stream because I only have four games. Well, your choices are limited, so just choose each of those games. Just do four different streams, do each of them. Uh, Planner's here. What's up, Planner? Says, no, I am Door Ladder. That you are, sir. That you are. 
we don't know what we're doing just yet, so we'll, uh... We'll just move on, see if we can get into some fights. Jetson says, can you tell me your Xbox account? I think what you mean is, what is your uh, gamer tag? Uh, the gamer tag is 5J, except for some reason 5J was taken. So, 5J, but the I is a 1 and the E is a 3. So it looks like 5J, but it's F1V3JAY. I think that is also my PlayStation name. Somehow, 5J was taken on both Xbox and PlayStation. Crazy. Melee attack and fly? I can fly? Well, maybe not me, but somebody. Oh, he shoots arrows. Or he uses some other weapons. Nice. Whoa! I can change seasons. What is going on with that? Where, are these guys good guys? Are they bad guys? They're probably bad guys, aren't they? So now I can walk. Oh, sweet! It's sort of Oracle of uh, Oracle of Seasons like here. How do I do the, uh... There we go. Well, that's another way to do it. Crouch. Nice! Oh my goodness, there are so... many chats already. What is going on? Let's see. I'm gonna put the controller down for a minute here. Uh... Planner says, I see 5J... I see 5J, I see France, I see Far Star Fox's Game Boy Advance. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, I mean, he's a fox. He ain't in the stars right now, but maybe it's like the Star Fox Adventure 2. Kind of looks like a Game Boy Advance game. I hear that. Uh, JE says, I went to Walmart today with my dad. We went shopping. Nice. Sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. Mr. Buffalo says, I thought Black Sabbath did the end thing a while back and called it quits. Don't know. Uh, JD says, no, I meant first there was Metallica, but what comes next? Oh, I, I don't know. This is Black Sabbath. I don't know. Iron Maiden? Megadeth, though, that's my band. That's what I was wearing as, uh, as my shirt the other day. Uh, Planet says, Jay, you tell favorite GBA game. You tell favorite GBA game. Lots of good ones. I'm gonna go probably Advance Wars 2. I really love Advance Wars, and the second one was just... Well, bam Buffalo says, Hair has to be mangled, dingy, and lice-infested. We considered Black Sabbath a lice-infested. Wow. Ooh. Then it says, Jay, you cook Octoroct for Link and the King. Yes, no. What? What are you talking about? Jetson's going to add me as a friend. Sounds good. John Dell's also the day become a mod is when foxes start to fly. <laughs> Uh, Jetson says, first YouTube friend. Oh, nice. Well, I'm glad that you consider me such. That is awesome. Slime says, are you going to play Octopath Traveler? Uh, it depends on, um, when I get it. I plan to, but my budget has changed, so I'm not buying as many games as I used to, unfortunately. So, I do want to. I just don't want to tell you that I will be. Is what it is. I'm uh, streaming, or I'm buying less games, streaming, uh, or will be streaming more of the same game more often. What, I can't... What's going on? I can't use my weapons. There we go. That's weird. It's weird. Like, sometimes he, like, just stops using his weapons. Can he not? He can't do it during a double jump, I guess. What did this guy tell me about these magic seeds? There are five of them hidden in every level. You will need magic seeds to unlock new parts of the forest. Okay. So they're just collectibles. So I probably didn't have to go back for that. Targets. With the correct type of arrow. I have multiple arrow types? You don't have any magic arrows yet. Oh, okay. Magic arrows. Guess that's going to be a thing later. 
Uh, Jetson says, do you have GTA on your Xbox? I do not. Planner says, Jay, that laptop I was looking at with the GTX 1060 is really good. I'm definitely going to get it when it goes on sale or something. Was that the first link that you sent? Because I think that was the one I was going to go for. Like, But like I said, it was a little bit over your cost, especially if you take in tax into account there and protection plans or whatever you want to do with it. Slime says, I'm playing the demo right now. It is really fun. Nice. I played the old demo. I haven't played the new demo. Slime says, also, Jay, I have a cold sore on my face. It's awful. Ever had to deal with it. I got some medicine for it today, but it is more so a symptom reliever than a treatment. Uh, no, I, I have never had one of those, but, um, you know, you can still catch them from other people or whatnot, so. Could happen to me someday. Zwoosh. Um, Gilbert Renaud says, I've been res resisting the urge to buy East 8. See, that's another game I want to get uh, this weekend. So I actually finish some games before Octopath. Nice, nice. Ah, uh, yep. Those are totally different kinds of RPGs. So there's, you know, there's like space for both of those as far as like gameplay wise. But like, of course, they both take a lot of time to actually play. So there might not be space timing wise. There we go. This little bug wants to be exactly in the wrong place, so I can't actually shoot him. Go away, bug man. I wonder why I can't use my sword during the double jump. There's no attack that I can do during the double jump. Strange to me. Hi, I am Retro the Badger. I love old games and helping out new heroes. My useful checkpoints are a little like a link to the past. Just talk to me a little further down the road and I will name my price. I need to, that money to expand my collection of retro games. Would you like to activate this checkpoint for 10 gold? Nah, we're gonna be good. We'll just get good. What have we down here? don't know, but oh, I think it was just health. Probably. Ah, oh my goodness, so many chats! Uh, oh my goodness, I gotta scroll up like a lot. Holy cow, you guys are so active today. I might have to start skipping some chats here so that I can actually play the game. Uh, John says I got GTA 5 and Resident Evil 0 today, and then smiles. Jubilant announces is working on uh, Battle Chases right now. John has another smile. Phoenix says yeah, Fox, the best indie website in the world. I don't think I know that website. Uh, John says one is better than the other. Jetson says, can you name three games you have in your Xbox? Uh, this game, uh, Alien, Isolation, some random Assassin's Creed game I got from uh, the Xbox Game Pass. There's three for you. <laughs> John says, I also got tonsillitis today. Mm. No good, man. Finish says, good luck with GTA 5. Hope you don't get banned from at random like so many other people. The game's had a ton of negative reviews on Steam lately for that. Finish says, the developers have been mass banning people for no reason. Uh, Buffalo says, does anyone know if there's a physical release of Gear Club Unlimited for Switch or is it dis digital only? I thought there was. Don't know for sure, but I think that there is. JE says, I wonder if anybody likes the whole Mass Effect trilogy or not. I think so. Uh, my Actually, my friend is big into it, so yes, of course they do. JD says, I'm playing it on PS4 Pro and mostly just play offline. Planner says, that should do then. <sighs> Phoenix says, is Fox and Force an indie game or a retro game? It's an indie game in a retro style. Reminds me of Shovel Knight and Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Exactly, exactly. Planner says, this live stream is what all the true warriors strive for. What? Mail Your Mail is here. What's up, Mail Your Mail? How's it going? He says, I'm a true warrior. How's it going? Mario says, uh, you have Alien Isolation, Isolation J? Please play it on stream sometime. I have. I actually have played it on stream. Just to throw in that out there. But, uh, yeah, no, it's a cool game. I haven't gotten all that far in it, but it's, it's cool. It's uh, ambient. I love that ambiance to it. I remember getting stuck or lost uh, when I was playing it. Uh, that that part was probably off stream. Jetson, does anyone here have an Xbox? I think a bunch of people do. Oh, I can't. It's frozen. Oh, wait. Okay, so I just gotta risk it. Risk your biscuit. By the way, I did make one game purchase today because 
I firmly believe that paladins could become really, really, really popular. I know it's already, you know, a very popular game. It's just not Overwatch popular. I think it is totally capable of being the Fortnite to Overwatch's PUBG. I seriously believe that. So I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping to stream lots more of that game because I'm actually really, really enjoying it. I think it's really unique and I think it's really cool. Um, so on Nintendo Switch, I bought the Founders Pack so that I have all the heroes. I can test them out, I can stream them. I can let you guys know what I think about the various heroes. So when you're going looking to unlock folks, you can uh, see what you think. Or uh, see what I thought, rather. So uh, yeah, that's like my one game purchase until I don't know when. We'll see how uh, how things go with the budget. I am trying to really, really cut back. Uh, Planner says, I want to see you get jump scared so bad. See, I don't I don't normally get like jump scared, so you might not see that. In fact, you can check the stream that was there and uh, see if there are any jump scares. Also, I uh, had Lauren play um, uh, Outlast, and I don't think that I had any jump scares personally there either. Oh yeah, Retro the Badger. I don't need your checkpoints. So far, at least this first level, nothing, nothing to be concerned with. Ooh, secrets you say. Secret secrets. Phoenix says, I just wonder what LJN is up to. Lol, I don't know if there's still a company. Phoenix says, please play it again sometime then. And Subnautica again. I do want to play Subnautica again, actually. I got good views for that, and uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I just wish I had it on Xbox. <laughs> Sorry, man. How are those... Oh, you gotta freeze it. Okay, well, didn't think about that. So we'll have to get all the way back there again. They warned me, though. They warned me. Um, uh, May says, well, I've been laying low since you started this stream, um, but I'm here. Every time you stream, either at work or busy, and it's really depressing. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, I'm streaming at the same time I always stream, so I mean, it's just not any different for me. So things must just be changing for you. Just saying, you know, just saying. John says, the Phoenix, I would say something, but this is a child-friendly chat. Yes, yes it is. So uh, don't, don't say whatever you were going to say then. Don't do that. J JD says, you should do remakes of past streams, lol, remakes. That's funny. We'll see, because I do want to do more playthrough type stuff. And I do want to do more uh, things like uh, popular games. Uh, Paladins, I think for me, is going to become a very regular thing. Because I'm really enjoying it. Um, and it's not... Like, there's a lot of games that I played a lot of, and then they just got old. Like, um, things like Overwatch, things like Splatoon. You know, great games. Nothing against them, but like, I'm, I'm kind of over them, you know? I've played and streamed enough of them that I'm, like, ready to move on. So, this is fresh for me. This is new for me. And, I, like I said, I think it has a lot of potential. Actually, there was something down here I wanted. There we go. Uh, JD says their last game, racing game, was on Dreamcast. Oh, LJN. Sure, sure, sure. Um, Plan says, Jay, you cook dinner for Lauren? Yes or no? No, she does the cooking. She loves cooking. She, uh, she likes making experiments in the culinary world, you know? She's like, so we're, we're getting this pig from a farm, right? Sweet. Half a pig. Great. Meat for a long time. She requested the pig's head because she wanted to try cooking it. She wanted to see what that was like, just to, you know, see what, what do you do with the pig's head and what does it taste like, what sort of culinary challenge is it to cook it. So she's, she's big into cooking. So, lucky me, I get to reap that reward. 
Then says, I would say I am unfriendly towards kids, but this is a kid-friendly chat. So I must be friendly to them for my own sake and because I think 5J is fun. Wow, that could have gone unsaid then in that case. I am unfriendly the, to kids. That's, that sounds straight violent. It sounds scary, like... Be careful how you say that. <laughs> uh, Planner says, cha channel ad jingle. Come to Jay's, Jay's is fun. Come right now, don't walk, run! I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it, man. I don't like it. It's too, it's too like, uh... Dora the Explorer or something. Actually, uh, Simon is working on uh, a jingle of sorts. It's not going to be like words to a song. It's just going to be a, a little snippet of a song. Just music, you know. So we'll see what Simon comes up with. Could be good. I'm sure it will be. He's over there getting his... Uh, I forget what level of degree it is, but he's a music major, so that's going to be awesome. I think it's a master's, actually. Yeah, yeah, he was doing a thesis. And you don't need a thesis if you're only, uh, if you're only getting a bachelor's degree, so yes. Jetson says, can I play Paladins with you on a stream? Yeah, folks can join me. Uh, John says, if you count 13 as a child, I should keep my distance. Yes. Sounds like. Phoenix says, if this game was retro, will this game be on SNES, Sega Genesis, or PS1? Uh, let's see. I would say probably PS1. Uh, definitely not Genesis. Uh, maybe Super Nintendo, but it might be a little bit too graphically intense for Super Nintendo. So, I think I would say this would be a PS1 quality game. Though, really, in truth, I think it does fit more the Game Boy Advance level. So the Game Boy Advance is a 32-bit system, but, you know, it's a small portable system, so it's like an underpowered 32-bit system. Kind of like um, when you compare Genesis and Super Nintendo. They're both 16-bit, but Genesis, by comparison, isn't nearly as powerful. Um... And uh, the same thing is true for like 8-bit systems. Um, I think the uh, the Atari 2600 is technically an 8-bit system. Uh, apparently the hardware really isn't even all that different from the NES, but when you compare the graphics of the 2600 to the NES, it's a clear difference on, you know, what does 8-bit really mean. Uh, it doesn't mean a lot as far as what you can expect for graphics if you compare it that way. So anyway, I think it's more in line with a low-end 32-bit system like the Game Boy Advance. John says, Jay, you don't look like a pig face eater. <laughs> oh. I came out of nowhere. Whew, all of a sudden, hiccup. Well, what I was going to say, JD, is that so far, I'm not. And I guess one day I will be. Whether or not I enjoy it is a totally different matter. We'll see. Keeping my mind open, but... Uh, who knows? Maybe those cheek muscles are just a real tender cut. I don't know. John Early says, You ever listen to Angry Video Game Nerd extended theme song? No. So there's a couple of kid-friendly lines, so can't be many. Can't be many. Why can't a turtle swim? Why can't I land a plane? <laughs> oh, sure. References to things that are happening in video games. I'm like, what is that? How does that make sense? I get it. I get it. John says, I want to hear Simon sing. Well, I don't know if that's going to happen, but... That's also not what we're going for with the, uh, the song. He's making something, uh... The we're, we're trying to make it a 16-bit sound and thing, so we'll see what he comes up with. I didn't give him strong direction. I'm leaving it up to him for the most part. I'll trust his instincts. Uh, 
John says, I'm just singing along with early. Singing what? Oh, in the song, sure. John says, I count tw Atari 2600 as 4 bit. I, I know that it's just, that's like the easy thing to say, but I'm pretty sure that it's still an 8 bit machine. All I'm saying. Just goes to show you that there's a huge range that uh, can be accomplished, even if two machines are the same bits. Phoenix says, I think this will look better on DS or 3DS than GBA. Think, you think it will look better on the system? You, what are you saying? You think that it graphically compares more with those systems? Because I think those systems are capable of even better than this. I mean, as far as... I still think this this totally... You know what? I know that the Game Boy Advance would totally have graphics this nice. You ever play um, Warrior Land 4? Man, the pixel work in there. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now, the, there's definitely some outstanding, gorgeous pixel art games on the GBA. So, no, I'm, I'm going to stand by the it has a GBA look to it. Ah! Ah, Benjamin Sulenbarger is back. What's up, dude? Welcome, welcome. He says, hello. Hey, as you can see, I don't play one game over and over. Well, I'm hoping to actually play a lot more Paladins now, because I'm really enjoying that game. But, yeah. John says, you're really behind on chats, lol. This is nothing. Oh, man. This is nothing. You should see how far behind I've been in the past. <laughs> Jetson says, do you have a, a pet? Yes, I have a couple of pets. I have a pet hedgehog. Um, for our European viewers, it is not your European hedgehog. It is a much cuter variety called the African Pygmy Hedgehog. You should look it up. Much cuter than the uh, European hedgehogs. Um, and I have an English Springer Spaniel. She is a good dog. Very sweet. Take that, weird plant zombie. And this is lol. I was joking about being unfriendly to kids. Well, see, but when you say it in text, really hard to tell if it's a joke or not. So you gotta be careful about jokes over text like that. Just throwing that out there. Uh, apparently I should buy a checkpoint somewhere. Because I take risks. Wait, wait. Uh, Planner says the jingle ad is from Star Trek Deep Space Nine, actually. Come to Quarks. Quarks is fun. Come right now. Don't walk. Run. I don't remember that. I remember going through all of Deep Space Nine. It was alright. I think some episodes were amazing, and a lot of episodes were meh. Is what it is. I feel like, though, that's kind of how Star Trek was. There's a lot of just real corny stuff in there. And then some really good ideas as well. There's a Jay, have you ever had an endoscopy? I did several years ago. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Benjamin says, yeah, I was hoping to see more Paladins. So, uh, I actually bought the Founders Edition on Nintendo Switch. Because I like me some portable gaming. So, uh, yes, I am planning on playing a lot more. I'm experimenting with all of the different, um, champions. I guess Paladins, rather. No, I think they are champions. They're champions of the realm, right? So, yeah, I'm trying out all the champions. I'm finding that I like so many of them. They're all so cool and so very different. Uh, even the support characters, and like when I played Overwatch, I didn't really care for the support characters. But the support characters that I'm playing in Paladins are actually really fun. Uh, I can't remember all their names, but there was uh, one dude that was um, a tree. You know, he was like Groot from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. And uh, his attack was this throwing axe. That's basically all he could do as far as attacks go. But the 
the thing about it that was cool was the farther away you were from a guy, the more the axe did damage. So this little support dude stands a ways back, he chucks an axe, and you just take this huge chunk off somebody's health. And it's really satisfying. And then all the while, you're healing everyone around you. So you're getting points for the kills, and you're getting points for healing folks. Like, it's awesome. So yes, I'm, I'm really enjoying Paladins. Uh, Jetson says, I have a good, or I have a dog and its name is, I'm oh, sorry, and it is a schnauzer named April. Damn, I just can't read right now, apparently. Oh, I like schnauzers. Actually, I wanted to get a giant schnauzer. I think the giant schnauzer is very interesting because usually as far as dogs go, you see the dog and then you see the miniature version of the dog. They take a small dog and they make it bigger, right? But in the case of the schnauzer, they were like, Nah, this dog, it needs to be bigger. And so they, they give you a bigger version of the dog. And I think that's awesome. So, uh, yes, I love schnauzers. And one day I would love to have a giant schnauzer. Oh, so many. Wow, so many chats. Hang on, I gotta, like, put things down again. Man, you guys are so active, thank you. Uh, Planner says, yes, John, as long as you don't touch my deli slicer or my hydraulic press, either could potentially maim or kill you. Sounds like the office episode where, uh, the warehouse is having a safety thing about you can't touch the hydraulic press. And they're really just talking to Michael, but, uh, he's, he keeps, like, trying to say that he's exempt. And they're all just like, no, no, you can't touch it. No, Michael, no, you can't. Um, Mr. Buffalo says, I'm on a DS9 kick right now. I'm not ashamed to say. You shouldn't be. Why should you be? Buffalo says, my favorite Star Trek series ranked are Next Generation, Original Series, Voyager, uh, Enterprise, and DS9. Okay, 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 okay. I still haven't seen Discovery, and I haven't seen Enterprise, so I can't put those in there. And actually, I don't really remember Voyager at all, so I have to go through that again, too. Planet says Metroid Fusion runs on the Warrior Land 4 engine. That's awesome! And also Fusion, beautiful game as well, in Zero Mission. Planet says Buffalo, have I shown you my Star Trek ships before from Blockland? Ooh. This is I'm working on a original series Klingon Bird of Prey right now. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Buffalo says back in my days on, on Roblox, I built a replica of the original series Enterprise Bridge and a Next Generation style bridge, but no, I haven't seen those, Planner. John says, wait, I have a great game title, Wario Fusion. Sweet. And he fuses with Waluigi. So now, not only is he tall, he is also strong. Now he's strong and tall. Instead of just strong. Lol, lol, lol. What else could he fuse with? I mean, he already had so many weird, like, transformations and stuff. I feel like that actually works pretty well. All right, we got a save point going here, a checkpoint. I'm ready. No, nope, don't have that kind of arrow either. Oops. Just check to see if that changes anything. No. No, it doesn't change anything. Woo! Die, tree man! John says it sounds it, that title sounds a lot better in my head. Uh, Planner says, John, are you on Discord? I'll send you the link to the thread. Oh, there you go. Now you guys can share pictures. Phoenix is back. What's up, Phoenix? Jetson says, please don't forget to save. Yes. Next, next badger, I'll save with him again. I uh, have plenty of money, so there's no need for me to be stingy. I saved with one dude, so if I die at this point, I'm not going all the way back. That's for sure. But yes, now I shall save at all the badgers. I'm too adventurous, apparently, to risk going without the badger save. Can I get up there? No, I don't think I can. Oh, I'm catching on to you, punk. There he is. Badger man. Checkpoint number two. 
John says, I'm a noob to Discord. I'm only on the Nintendo Prime one. That's okay. Totally okay. But if Jay gives me a link to his Discord, it's literally in the YouTube description. Scroll down. Buffalo says, not to say that DS9 is bad, it's just that it's my least favorite. Still good, though. Like I said, I thought there was a lot of meh parts, but that there were certain, like, storylines and stuff, like multi-part episodes that I thought were really, really good. So it was just, like, highs and lows with that one. Like, really high highs and really low lows with that one. Whereas, like, Next Generation, I think, was much more consistently, like, goofy but interesting all along the way. And uh, there were all sorts of good storylines in there as well. Borgs, baby! Those weren't really a thing as much with uh, Deep Space Nine. Did Borgs appear at all in Deep Space Nine? I don't remember. I do not recall. JD says, how many view hours until 4,000? It's a rolling time, so I, I don't think I'm going to be any closer than before. Because now I'm losing viewing hours from last summer, where I got loads and loads of views on my Earthbound and Metroid Prime playthroughs, because I was doing six-hour streams. Uh, I don't think my back can really do that anymore, six hours, man. I ruined my back last year doing that, so I got to I gotta not do that anymore. Um, and then, um, I don't know, uh, Earthbound is not doing nearly as well for me this year as it was last year, so that's another factor there. Um, almost considering abandoning Earthbound, that's how much I'm like, oh man, I can't believe I'm gonna be spending how many streams on this game that you guys have already seen me play through, and it's not even doing well, or that well, it's not doing bad. It's just not doing nearly, nearly as well as it did last year. Like, seriously, nowhere near. So, yeah, like I said, I don't think I'm going to be any closer. In fact, I'm probably losing ground at this point. Uh, JD says, okay, I'm going to make a short trip to Discord. I'll be back. Jetson says, sorry, I'm going to leave the stream. Okay, you don't have to tell me. You can just go, but see ya. Uh, Buffalo says, the episode where they invade Cardassia and the Birds of Prey go off in the attack formation. That was an awesome episode. Phoenix says, anyway, this game will look, will look better on DS or 3DS? Um, I still don't understand what you mean by that. I don't think you heard my explanation before. You must have said that and then ran off. Um, first of all, it's running on Xbox One, so... If you're saying it would run better on older, less powerful hardware... No... If you're saying that this looks more like a DS game than it does a GBA game, I still think this looks like a GBA game. I think the, the DS is capable of more than this level of pixel art. So I'm sticking with the with the GBA statement. Uh, Historian is back. What's up, dude? It's been a while, man. How's it going? He says, hey, Jay, haven't seen you in a while. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Ooh, ooh. Excuse me. Are you guys doing anything fun for uh, 4th of July? It's on a Wednesday this year. So that that stinks. I, uh, I get one day off work and it's in the middle of the week. So I don't get a long weekend. And that means I don't really get to do anything special or fun. It's just just a Wednesday. Just a Wednesday. So that kind of stinks. Hopefully next year it'll be on a Monday or a Friday. Even a Saturday, because then I think they still will give me a Monday or a Friday off. Ah, uh, Buffalo says, ever play Star Trek Online, Jay? No, what's that game like? I downloaded some sort of Star Trek game that was free on um, on Xbox here. Not sure what it is. Let's take a look here. 
Though it's possible I might have deleted it. No, I don't think so. I just recently downloaded it. No, I've probably transferred it from one thing to the other. There it is. What is it? That's it. Star Trek Online Emergence. I haven't tried it yet. I just saw it was free and I was like, hey, I'll download it. Maybe one day I'll play it. So maybe one day I'll get there. Maybe. Remember. Gilbert Renat says, did you ever play Bravely Default and Bravely Second? Um, I played Bravely Default and I thought the game was awesome. Like really, really awesome. Um, that whole system, which is a kind of a stupid name, Bravely Default is like the name of that system. Um, but like it was a really clever system that was really fun, you know, risk reward type of thing. And um, I'd like to see them do more of that kind of stuff. More RPGs like that. I thought that was just brilliant. Um, I also loved that they had built in the ability to speed up gameplay. So folks that aren't big into grinding um, in JRPGs, but, you know, kind of enjoy the combat, they could um, play the battles at a much faster speed because it's at like, was it like 16 times the speed? It's like everything was just instant, even if you were doing the four times attack or whatever. So yeah, I thought that was really, really cool. So this is interesting. I have the power to change seasons, but it seems that different levels give you the ability to go to different seasons. So last time the level was, I can change between, I don't know, summer and winter. Now it seems like it's almost like summer and fall here. Ah, oh, there's a magic seed there. Hiding. Aha! I don't have the right arrows to hit that though. Oh, maybe I should go back to the town actually. Let's go back to the world map, see if we can buy some different arrows. Uh, John says, wow, you have so many games. Well, a lot of those are Xbox um, games with gold. You know, they give you four games every month. So I've had that for a long time now. So I get in a year, what is that? Um, 48 games in a year. So yeah, if I've had it for three years, then, you know, I have over 120 games just from Xbox. Uh, games of gold. Uh, Planner says, I used to play Star Trek online many years ago, like back in 2010. Oh, interesting. Oh, hang on. Whoa, wow, so many chats. Oh my goodness. Whoa, okay. So yeah, John says, we don't celebrate 4th of July here. You wouldn't. Yeah, he's, uh, he's in England, so you wouldn't. You'd probably campaign for reunification day or something like that. Master of Fail says, hey, I think you remember me from yesterday's Paladins. Yes. And uh, by the way, just to uh, let you know, I plan to play a lot more Paladins now because that game, seriously awesome. I think I'm hooked. I think I want to play lots and lots of Paladins. I bought the Founders Edition on Switch so I can try out all the different heroes, champions, and I'll know what I want to prioritize to unlock on Xbox One, on PS4, wherever it is that people want to play with me. Um, Phoenix says Resident Evil 1 can run better on DS and Resident Evil 2 can also run on N64. Well, yeah, because PS1 is equivalent to N64, you know, power-wise, they're pretty similar systems. And yes, DS is more powerful than PlayStation 1. Historian says, I'm good. I've had finals, so I haven't been by for a while that stinks that you have to work on an independence day no i'm not working on independence day it's just that it's not a long weekend so like i don't do anything special on independence day it's like uh, it's just a wednesday a wednesday where i'm not working sure but i mean i'm still gonna be like doing chores around the house and stuff and i still gotta go to bed early for work the next day you know it's like nothing special uh, then he goes on to say, I'm actually doing, or going to Pennsylvania to stay with my grandparents and cousins. Nice. Very cool. Plus says, Jay, I will play Star Trek online with you, even though I don't really play it much anymore. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I will play it. I'm just saying I downloaded it because I thought, eh, maybe. Uh, Gilbert Renaud says, I'm in Canada, so national holiday was yesterday. Yes. Happy birthday, Canada. Happy Canada Day. John says, wow. I oh, already read that one because I was behind, apparently. Buffalo says, I just like the 25th century aspect. That is cool. Uh, Planner says, I used to play STO many years ago, like back in 2010. Oops, I already read that one. 
John says, please make a gaming room tour. Gaming room is too messy for a tour. I'm working on trying to get the room in a much cleaner, more attractive state. Um, so I'm selling some stuff. I'm cleaning up stuff, storing stuff. And then, yes, I would like to do a tour as well because it's good for insurance purposes. <laughs> When they go, you don't have that many games. We're not giving you that kind of money when your house burns down. I'm like, but look on YouTube, man. Here's my room tour. See all my games? See all my stuff? Like, there was a lot of money in that room, you know? Not nearly as much as some people. Like, you ever seen um, uh, Metal Jesus Rocks? Man, that dude has got a collection. Whoa. Whoa. Historians is over the summer going to camp and Gettysburg. Ooh, nice. Gettysburg was cool. I went there senior year of high school on a field trip. Very good. So many chats. Like I like I said, I might have to start skipping them now. I'm hardly even able to play the game. Phoenix says, can the Xbox One download old Xbox games like Halo Combat Evolved? I think they're starting to add um, original Xbox backwards compatibility. I don't know if they're downloadable, but I believe it will read old discs. Um, I know for sure you can download old Xbox 360 games and your old Xbox 360 games um, are compatible. Uh, again, not all of them, so you'll have to look up the Xbox backwards compatibility list. If you just Google for Xbox backwards compatibility, you'll find the list. John says, do you listen to 101.3 KDWB on the way to work, Jay? Uh, I usually listen to music on my phone. So I'm usually not listening to the radio. I used to listen to that, though, in high school and stuff. Uh, John says, my mom's side of the family is German. Ooh, good food, food, German food. We got a German restaurant here in Minnesota that I just love. Can't say the name because I can't pronounce it. It's like super Germany. Um, Gilbert says, yeah, for Bravely, I thought it was also great that you could change the encounter rate. Oh, and the encounter rate. That was cool, too. But I was talking about the actual speed of the combat. You'd like do all of your actions and just be like, and you're done. And it was the next turn. It was cool. Uh, John says, how many consoles do you have, Jay? Ooh, I'm not even going to count them. It's, I don't know. You know what? I made a list, including duplicates like uh, Game Boy Advance is the same console as the Game Boy Advance SP, which is the same console essentially as the Game Boy Micro. Things like that, including duplicates, it was something like 40. I also have three Game Gears, so there's and two PSPs. So like I have and four 3DSs. So like there's there's duplicates in there. It's not 40 different game systems, so to say. Phoenix says someone is messing with Ocarina of or Oracle of Seasons again. Zelda Oracle of Seasons. It's a great great game. I actually just recently got that cartridge. Love that game. Oracle of Ages. I think I liked better. Must have been forever since I have played that one. Uh, Buffalo says, I want to see a He-Man Star Trek crossover. Imagine it, Skeletor in command of a bird of prey. John says, please tell me why you celebrate 4th of July. Uh, you don't know what it is? It's Independence Day. It is the day that we declared ourselves independent from England. <laughs> the day that we became our own country. So that's probably why they don't really teach you much about 4th of July over there in England. Uh, Master of Fail says, when do you go stream Paladins again? Uh, I don't have a day set, for one thing, because I'm a part-time streamer. I don't have a regular schedule, so keep your alerts on, um, like, you know, hit the, the notification bell. It will tell you the title of the stream and give you, um, an icon. So, you'll be able to see in your notifications when I'm streaming Paladins. Then you won't have to waste your time coming here on a non-Paladin stream. He says, I like to watch you when you play Paladins because you are good. Oh, really? You have some skills for that. Oh, thank you. I think mostly, though, it's because I'm literally brand new to that game and everyone that I'm playing with is, like me, level zero. So I think once I play that game for a while, I'm going to start getting to people that are at my skill level and then they'll be way past my skill level. So I think I'm only good for now. We'll see. We'll see how it goes since I've been playing more of that game. Uh, John says, but what's that's the magic of the gaming room tour. We want to see the messy stuff. Nope, not showing you the messy stuff. John says, never skip chats. Sorry, but eventually uh, the plan is to become a larger channel and I will not be able to read all the chats. So one day that's a thing we'll have to deal with. We'll just have to see how we handle it. Um, trying to look into other ways of like, Okay, so like if I have subscribers, maybe I'll read the subscriber chats or, 
you know, maybe I have a special room in Discord or something. Like, I don't know. I have to figure it out. But yeah, there will be a point when I'm not able to read them all. JD says, Super Germany. Super German dash Y. It's very German, the name. I don't know how to read it. Ryoko Chan says, Hey, old Britannia. What's up, Ryoko Chan? How's it going? Uh, Phoenix says, at least it's not Independence Day where aliens invade Washington, D.C. You know why it's called that, though? Because it was the same day. Just saying. So it, it is the same. Just those events didn't happen. Green Wolf says, hi, I'm new here. Welcome, Green Wolf. It is so active in my chat right now that I'm like, I'm not even playing the game. This is nuts. Hydro Kicken says, hi, I bought my first Ran Splinth yesterday. Hydro Kicken, you are a devil. I looked that up and there were literally zero results in Google. <laughs> <laughs> literally zero so uh you funny man making up those terms they were you were actually trying to confuse me i was right about that so that's funny but welcome back hydro kicking john says to ryoko you know where it's at hydro kicking says love your channel bro very welcoming can i join sometime two player online yeah so sometimes i will be doing some multiplayer things you know uh mario kart i'm starting to do paladins now which is like overwatch so you can join that it's a free game on xbox one and ps4 um um Let's see, what other uh, Splatoon I've done? Um, what other multiplayer things have I done? I can't remember. Other stuff. JE says, I heard the internet sucks in Germany and Canada. Couldn't tell you. Hydro says, I'm a girl. Oh, well, sorry. Hard to tell, you know, off a username. Sorry for making any sort of assumptions, but welcome. Welcome anyway. Also, I just say dude to people. So if, if that was what I said, then I didn't mean to make it a gender thing. I just say, dude, I need different arrows. Upgrades. I think th this has got to be it, right? The armory. Spin attack, bayonet. That's all I get, okay? Stomp attack. Is there like... I don't have enough for anything else. These must be like items. Attack potions? Interesting. We'll see what they do. We'll get... We need an empty bottle. Oh, like Zelda. Okay, so I can't get that. Heart. A new heart container. Cool. So, how much is that for? A thousand gold. We don't have that. 500 for the mana. Okay. So, we bought everything we could buy. It is what it is. We move it on. Uh, Jamie Payette's here. What's up, dude? How's it going? It says Hat J. I am Hat J. Uh, Chelsea says, yes, the internet does suck here in Canada. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad because uh, even the U.S. is actually rated fairly low as far as speed of internet um, worldwide. In Asia, they are, like, so far ahead. Like, fiber optic is everywhere. And we have, like, very, very little fiber op optic in America. So that's why we are not considered particularly um, fast in the internet arena worldwide. <laughs> Hydro kicking is going on with the Ransplin thing. No, seriously, dude, Google it. There's zero results. They were just coming up with random terms to be confusing. Like, what? You've never heard of this? It's a funny joke. Uh, John says, I got a PS4 Pro three days ago. Nice. Man, that's awesome, dude. Enjoy. More leaves? More leaves. Ah! Don't you fall, boy. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's who we want to see. Badger guy with the checkpoints. What's up, Badger man? Yeah! Uh, John Early says, what radio stations do you listen to, Jay? Like I said, 
I really don't listen to radio anymore. I pretty much just listen to uh, music on my phone. Um, I listen to music I bought, or I listen to um, Spotify. But largely, I listen to old music. I listen to a lot of old music. Um, usually for various kinds of rock, um, metal. Um, but I also listen to lots of weird stuff. Like, I'll listen to, like... Um, old school, like Elvis Presley, you know, 50s music. I'll listen to, like, Johnny Cash, and I'll li listen to, um, I'll listen to country music. I'll, I'll listen to 80s hip-hop music, you know, like, I'll, I'll mix it up, you know? I'll listen to all sorts of different stuff. Uh, Green Wolf says, also here in Mexico. Oh, it's not good there either. Also, welcome from Mexico. Jamie says, the heat wave is tapering off here. It was blazing hot for a few days. Yeah, it's still warm, though, here. It's still, still warm. It's not, uh, not looking to be... Oh, it's summer. It is what it is. NC Lake is here. What's up? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. And then Man14 is also here. Dude, how's it going? Says, what's up, Jay? Whoa, you're wearing a cap today. I am. Sporting my, uh, my... Uh, state pride here. Yay, Minnesota. John's gonna have to go in half an hour. Well, the stream ends in half an hour, so... You're, uh, right, right on track. Leave me alone, tree man. Uh, beyond lockdown fan pages here. What's up, man? He says, yo, bro. You a top a bloke, but I need you to Skype me later. That cool? Ooh, I don't think so. That sounds sketchy. I gotta be honest. <laughs> uh, you can check out my Discord, but I feel the need to preface that uh, this is a, uh, a family-friendly channel. Something about that podcast beyond gives me some reservations here. Uh-oh. Okay, good. I was like, am I stuck? We're not stuck. I'm familiar with Podcast Beyond. And I love those guys, and they're awesome. They just doesn't fit with my family-friendly channel. That's all I'm saying. NC Lake says, heck yeah, the man in black. Yeah, we got another Johnny Cash fan. Nice. Uh, John Miller says, I listen to iHeartRadio. Yes, yeah, I used to listen to that as well. But uh, since I got um, Spotify, I don't really listen to it anymore. Uh, Millie Man says, I love older Nintendo music. Um, more than older. More than older? What is more than older? Older-er? It says, and the textures. Well, this isn't an old game, but it's in the old style. It's like um, Shovel Knight, you know? Uh, it's a new retro-styled game. But yeah, I love that. And I like that they're going this route, the more 16 to 32-bit route. I think that's that's good because I feel like the 8-bit indie games have been done to death. So I'm enjoying the 16-bit uh, the look instead. This evil little tree stump here. I'm just going to avoid him. Ah! They're so sneaky, hiding in bushes and such. Ah! How do I get over them? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Beyond says, Erm, no harm to my status. You would be lucky to talk to me, but I'd love a talk with you, bro. Big fan, and I want to make a deal on the DL. Alright, I mean... You could just talk to me on Discord. Um, I think I do have Skype. I just hardly ever use it. Uh, Melee Man says, uh, I love the Star Fox 64 music in Assault more than Zero. You know, I actually really love the original Star Fox music. Um, I don't know. Something about that style. Like Other SNES games don't seem to have that same sound. I don't know if the super effects chip affects the music at all. I don't think that it does, but maybe it does. Obviously, it affects the uh, the graphics, giving it that ability to do you know, basic 3D shapes. 
but um oh there is no way up there from down here okay but um yeah anyway i love the music from from star fox on super nintendo super unique Uh, Phoenix says, I'll be playing Smash 3DS. Ooh, I love Smash. Uh, and 3DS, 3DS is a good version. The only thing that I didn't like about it is that, uh, the 3DS circle pad, not nearly as durable as a, uh, as a joystick. So, um, so I end up really, uh, really not wanting to play it on my 3DS. Because unlike the Switch, you can't just replace... Well, it was good that I saved there. You can't just replace the circle pad on your 3DS. You gotta replace the 3DS. I guess there's probably a way to take the 3DS apart and replace it. What I meant to say is, you can just buy a new Joy-Con. You can't just buy a new circle pad. Ah, there it is. Um, John says... OMG, Jay, this is your big break as a YouTuber. You never know. You never know when that will happen. You never do know. Um, Buffalo says, what's your favorite unnecessary Switch accessory so far, Jay? Unnecessary? Um, boy, unnecessary is such a weird word. I feel like if the accessory is unnecessary, then I wouldn't buy it or I wouldn't like it because I didn't need it. Um, I think my favorite accessory is uh, a type of grip, you know, for your Joy-Cons that has a battery built into it so that, uh, I don't know if you've ever had this problem, if you don't use your Joy-Cons and they're like a couple of weeks later you go to use them, they're dead. So if you're trying to do a multiplayer thing and you hand your Joy-Cons over to your friend, all of a sudden you're like, oh, I actually, sorry, we can't play with these Joy-Cons, they're dead. We gotta charge them. It's like, well, there goes that idea. So, uh, from Nyko, they have something called the Clip Grip Power. And when it's in the grip, you can choose to um, enable um, this battery to start charging it while it, you're playing. Unlike the Nintendo version, which is just, um, it just has a USB port, USB-C port on the top of the charge grip. Um, but it doesn't have a battery built in, so you have to plug it in like a wired controller. This is a tr truly wireless solution. You are not um, plugged it into anything. It has its own battery on board, so you charge that battery separately, but it doesn't run out like the uh, like the Joy-Con batteries do. So that's my probably my favorite accessory, other than you know a case, <laughs> the all always necessary case. Um, let's see. Man, so many chats. I'm so behind. John Earley says, It would be interesting if they made games look like N64 or Dreamcast titles. Um, they made... There was a game that I streamed. Um, I think that one, though, might have been for Nintendo Prime. Uh, called... Uh, Vaccine. And it looks and plays like a PlayStation 1 Resident Evil game, except that it has um, randomly generated rooms. And uh, it was really cool. I actually really liked that game. Um, you should definitely check that out. Um, yes, but looks exactly like a PS1 game. You know, super polygon, uh, just square looking shapes. Um, the textures are so bad. I like to say that the PS1 N64 era, era is the only era where you can count both the polygons and the pixels. You know? <laughs> and uh, that's exactly what it looks like. But I loved it. Thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. Beyond Lockdown fan page says, Talk to you soon, my brother. Okay, but we didn't actually exchange any contact info. So, how, how are you contacting me? have to work that out later, I guess. Come back, and we'll talk. John says, every time Beyond chats, please read him in a generic English accent. It is hilarious. Hilarious. Lol. 
John says, wait, Jay, you have merch? Yes. Yes, I do. On Redbubble. So Redbubble is a website where I can just upload a design and then they put that design on a load of different products. So you can just check out that particular design and then see what product you want to put it on. They don't have hats, so I'm looking into another website that will let me put logos and stuff on hats. But um, they do have t-shirts, phone cases, like um, wall art, that kind of stuff. So you should definitely check out that link in my YouTube description. Tammy Manny is here. What's up, Tammy? Says, Beyond fan page is ran by Beyond's brother. Don't know who that is, but cool. I mean, I always liked Podcast Beyond. I always liked him. Um, I even liked the new one, right, where they uh, they switched to Brian Altano. Oh, boss fight. Was not expecting that. Brian Altano and um, Max Scoville. So I'm a, I'm a fan. Uh, Mr. Buffalo says, I use unnecessary jokingly. Okay, I was going to say, that doesn't make any sense. Tammy says, also what consoles do you have and what's your most treasured game? Oof, like I said, I think I have 40 consoles, including duplicates. Like I have four 3DSs. Um, I have a lot of games. My favorite game, most treasured game, that's probably different. Maybe, maybe um, Mega Man on Game Gear. Turns out that game was pretty rare and it's worth a good chunk of money. So that's good. I love that game, by the way. Um, up there with Mega Man X is my favorite Mega Man. Melee Man 14 says Christmas Carol up in your Scrooge is a f and his friend Jacob Marley. Why are we just like talking about this every time? I don't understand this obsession with the Christmas Carol. JD says, is there a way to play Fallout 1 and 2 on Xbox One? Maybe on a hacked Xbox One. I don't think that there's a, an official way. Buffalo says, my favorite is probably a heavy, heavy duty handheld grip. I found one with a door in the back that can hold games and acts as a kickstand. The kickstand, that one's new. Uh, the Clip Grip Pro, or no, Clip, Clip Grip Power has in the front slots for game cards and SD and an SD card or two, I think two as well. And um, also it has a USB slot on there so that you could literally charge anything. Uh, and it has a clip to hold your phone because, of course, Nintendo had the whole, hey, use your phone to chat. So they thought, well, you'll clip your phone onto the grip and you'll charge your phone while the app is open so you could be chatting using your phone while charging your phone or your Joy-Cons or both at the same time and uh, all in one spot. Tammy Manny says, how do I stream from PS1? Well, you need a capture card and then you need a way for the signal to be the right input for your capture card. So if your capture card is for an HDMI input, then you need a converter from... Um, composite to HDMI. So that's what I have. I have over there a, a converter for composite and S video. And actually it has like an HDMI pass through in it as well, which is actually useful for PS3 because PS3 uh, doesn't allow you to use capture cards. So when I put it through my, um, my converter, I can actually stream PS3 when you're normally not supposed to be able to. So that's cool. But yeah, you'll need that. Um, Green Wolf's thoughts on spaghetti. Delicious. I love Italian food. Tammy says, can you send me an autograph? An autograph? Boy, I have never once done an autograph. Um, <laughs> I've also got the world's worst handwriting. Like, I know a lot of people say that, but like, seriously, I don't think my writing, my handwriting has changed since like kindergarten. Like, seriously, the worst handwriting. So bad. Oh, yeah, I should be changing seasons. Good point, good point. John says, after this stream, I'm going to check out some 5J merch. Nice. Awesome, dude. Well, that's great. Yeah, uh, I should be buying some of that stuff and wearing it on the camera to, like, have awareness, right? So people will know, hey, there's 5J merch. So I'm, I'm not doing a good job of representing myself, you know? Not doing a good job of that at all. So, yes, I could be definitely advertising that better. Ah! He's like Blanca. Man, I am not doing this well. And freeze! Nope, that didn't actually help me. <laughs> J 
John is saying, better never touch it. Must spaghet. Who spaghet? Tammy says, have you got a girlfriend or boyfriend? Sorry, I don't like to stereotype. Uh, I am married to a woman. So, but, you know, I get it. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, you don't want to make an assumption. Exactly. So, no need to apologize. Ugh. I need to stay in the middle, because he always jumps when I least expect him to. There we go. That was slightly better. Stay in the middle, stay in the middle, stay in the middle. Ah, jump too late. Early, actually. Jump too early. All right. There he is. Unload. Whoa, that was weird. It, like, froze for just a stutter there. Mr. Buffalo says, jalapenos on pizza, yes or no? I'm not a big spicy guy, so I would personally say no. See, once again, stay in the middle. Follow your own advice, 5J. Follow your advice. I saw something that said, freeze the eggs. So, but what do I do? Oh, I hit them at him. Well, looks like that's going to have to wait for another round there. John says he's got the ultimate GF, a wife. True story. Thunder says, Jay, we need to raise awareness of your unawareness. Ha! <laughs> true story. Thunder says, Captain Kirk had a girlfriend, the Enterprise. That's true. That's true. But he cheated on her all the time with the alien girl of the week. <laughs> lol. Lol, lol, lol. Tammy says, wow, that's nice. You going to be the new Red Dead... I think what you're trying to say is you're going to buy the Ned next Red Dead Redemption. I would like to. Right now, I'm going through a big budget change. So we'll see what I can make happen budget-wise. But I would like to. Although I never finished the first Red Dead Redemption. So maybe I should just stream the first Red Dead Redemption. Honestly. A great game. Although very mature. And that doesn't really fit with the family-friendly thing. So it would have to be occasional at most at most planner says swim to the side to stay alive captain obvious is back what's up dude that's grandmaster hydragon's second account love it welcome back captain welcome back so ahoy i have a return from an expedition in the high seas phoenix has to go see a phoenix thanks for hanging out what did we get season cleared yes we done it. It took some doing. It's not super easy. It's not super hard. I just had to take it seriously. Oh yeah. Planner says, rip currents, kill people. Swim parallel to the shoreline to escape. Don't try to swim directly to the shore. You will just get pulled further out to sea. Uh, fun fact, I was almost once carried out to sea in Mexico. I was swimming in the ocean, you know, too close to the high tide, and I couldn't swim back in. So I did the opposite of what everybody else told me to do. They all said, stay away from the rocks. And I was like, okay, I get that. It's going to take me and it's going to thrash me on the rocks and kill me, right? Okay, I get that. However, you don't get thrashed around if you're holding on to the rock or I'm getting below the wave. So that is what I did. I went to the rocks. I grabbed onto them, held tight, ducked under the waves so that the wave would go over me. I'd use the rock to get to the next rock, duck, wait, and eventually I got out. But yeah, almost pulled me out, man. Almost pulled me out. Uh, Tammy says, did you know an Xbox One costs $3.45 to make in the factory? Think of the profit. I don't think that is true. $3.45? That's pretty extreme for a computer? No, I don't believe that. There's no way. That's crazy. Now, because they, they oftentimes end up selling consoles at a loss. So, I don't think that's true. I think that's some misinformation there. 
Uh -huh, Mr. Buffalo says, that is a nice pixel art scene. Yeah, there's beautiful pixel art in here. I think he was saying I needed to get more of those magical seeds. Do I have to collect all of them? I have three. How many does it say I need? Collect all magic seeds of this season's levels to access the next bonus level. Oh, okay, but how do I go to a different world then? Maybe going back to the plaza will get me a different, like, path. I said, Jay, we need to rebuild the Berlin Wall, you know, for the lulls. I don't think that's a lulls situation, dude. <laughs> I don't think so at all. Well, this is, yeah, also that's not true. Xbox One components are expensive to make. Captain Obvious says, if you want to message... If you want to message to be sent publicly, press the send button. That will allow a, a message to be seen by everybody. I mean, he's not wrong. And it shows right up over there on the left there. I just don't believe everything you hear on BuzzFeed. <laughs> on BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed. Bayonet will make the melee attacks stronger. Okay, let's buy it. I'm cool with it. It's all our money, though. What if I go this way? Let's give me some more new or not. Marvelous. You've actually regained a piece of magic bark. Thank you, Fox. Ah, we're gaining the Deku Tree's bark back. Got it. Ooh, I got a new type of arrows. Tammy Manny says, No, all true my cousin runs the Microsoft Belt in Michigan lower. I don't know, man. I don't know. And I'm saying man, generally. I don't mean to call you a man. Again, I just, this is a thing I say. That seems crazy. It seems crazy. I can't imagine that it would possibly be that cheap for all of those components. It seems impossible. I mean, we're talking plastic and PCB and all the wiring and the CPU and the graphics card and everything. You know, like, it's a, it's a lot of stuff. There's no way all of that is $3.45. Maybe there's some certain process there that only costs that much. It just seems crazy. Because Nintendo's statement was always, we'll never sell a console at a loss. And therefore, they don't put their consoles on sale. And like when they put out the 3DS, they had to start selling it at a loss. Because when they put it out at a profit, it was selling so poorly. It was overly priced. So if it costs Nintendo like $190 to make a 3DS, I can't imagine it It only costs $3.45 to make an Xbox. How is that possible? How is that possible? So I need one more magic seed here. Two out of five. I only got one out of five here, so I got to find one more to make it happen. Maybe... Trying to think, like, do they make Xboxes at that factory beginning to end? Or do they take certain components and, pl and put them together? Because, I mean, that, that would make a big difference in how the cost goes, you know? If they're taking the pieces and putting them together, and the whole cost from start to finish of putting the pieces together only costs $3.45, I'd believe that. But the cost of making and buying, you know, producing those components... $3.45, they wouldn't even buy you that much in the in the metal inside it, you know what I mean? The aluminum alone costs more than that. There's no way. The box it comes in is $3.45. Ah, see, now that is a different story. That's not the Xbox itself. Yes, okay, that I believe. That I very much believe. Uh, Planner says Microsoft does not own up. Nah. I don't want to get too far into this here because I don't want it to be like we're arguing. I'm just like contemplating the possibility of that being the case. You know, we're not, let's not be insulting or anything like that. Just saying, just being contemplative about the proposition there, the statement. Um, 
yeah, I'm just gonna skip the rest of those. Oh, Retro the Badger. Okay, I tried, you know, I'm looking for those magic seeds. So I'm just jumping down random spots, looking for secrets. I mean, he's right there, so why not? You can die as many times as I want to. Oh, that one, though. That one was on accident. <laughs> that much I will say. Ah! I meant to change the seasons before I jumped down there. Oops. Change it. There you go. Oh, don't be like that. Ah, Beyond Lockdown fan page is back. What's up, dude? He says, hi, we didn't exchange contact details. That's what I said. Like, what? He says, my buddies will also be on with me. We need to do this low-key if you get me, man. I'm a guy. You're a guy. Let's do business gaming. I mean, that still sounds real shady, but, like, you can always get a hold of me on my Twitter, for one thing. So, like, you can find me on Twitter at 5J. You could DM me there. My DMs are open. So, you could just look for me at 5J. We could talk there. It's easy enough. Simple way to do it. Planner says, Toast! Lola J, that was hilarious, and it fell in that hole. Yeah, that was, that was pretty sad. Pretty sad. I'm looking for secrets, and I'm not finding them. I bet up there. I bet I gotta go up there somewhere. How do I get up there, though? That's my question. To myself. Gotta get up there. John says, I vote spaghetti with pig. What? And it says, John, do not touch this spaghetti. Is this this must be a meme again that I'm that I'm missing out on. Missing on the spaghetti memes. The only spaghetti that I think of is um, Tim and Eric, awesome show, great job. They had uh, a character there called Spaghetti. And he would jump out and scare people, like some of those crappy shows in the early two thousands or late nineties or whatever. And he would scream at them, spaghetti! And they were not scared, and he would just, like, laugh, like, Oh, man, you should have seen the look on your face! And they're like... It's just a weird dude, just like a weird guy hiding behind... Oh, sweet! Yes, we do have a different arrow now! There we go. That's what we wanted. Get me one of those collectible things. Oh man, this new arrow is great. That's not the collectible I was looking for, though. Does it cost me energy? It does. It costs me a little bit of energy. Oh... No, sir. No, sir. No. No, no, no. He said, okay, let's do that. Uh, I've got any game you want and need help with a guy. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Let's just do the thing on Twitter, man, because I'm confused and I'm a little nervous to ask about more details. Like I said, child-friendly and all that jam. Planner says, no before you owe, John. Hashtag Star Wars yours. Now, yeah, that's the, the origins of Planner. And it says, yes, Jay, somebody thought you must forget. Look it up. Might not happen. Post it in my Discord. Then I'll check it out there later. This could be a secret down here. Yes. Ah, but it wasn't a... One of those... Whatever they are. Oh, so these little dudes were like foreshadowing of the boss that we were going to face. Oh no. That's right, we gotta do it this way. And Beyond says, please block planner. Very irritating. Dude, 
He's been a regular on my channel forever. This is your first day checking out my channel. I mean, not in the habit of blocking regulars if they're not troublemakers. Though I have had to block a regular that became a tr troublemaker. That was a long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. Mm, let's see. I don't know. Seems conflicty. Let's not do this, folks. Let's not do those. We don't need to be fighting around here. Leonard says, an old 1930s cartoon adaptation of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. The Three Bears were all stereotypes of Italian people. You know what? Now that you say that, I feel like somebody did once share that with me. So I might have seen that before. Somebody touch my spaghetti. I think you guys maybe have even showed or shared it with me like sometime in the past and I've just don't remember very well. Uh, Planner says my dog Crystal is getting her ACL surgery tomorrow. Hopefully she gets better soon. Oh, poor dog. I hope so too. They got to be so confused when that stuff happens, you know. Every time you take them to the vet is confusing enough, but when they get, you know, uh, put under anesthesia and then they just... Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. You gotta freeze it first. Dang it. Anyways, but uh, when you go there and then they put you under anesthesia and they wake up and they're just like in pain, you know, and they got like something on their leg. And they're like, what is this? You know, it's gotta be so weird for them. So they just, they can't understand. Poor pups. There you go. You don't have to be a noob. I don't understand what that is. It's like a rock donut or like the caveman wheel. Uh, Beyonce says, okay, what's your Twitter? Um, like I said, it's 5J, at 5J. Also, if you scroll down in my description on my video, you can see it. It's in there. Um, let's see. Um, Planner says, I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy who was once my father's brother's cousin's nephew's former roommate. True story. And he worked at Nintendo and he said, that's usually how that goes. I got this uncle's brother's cousin's great aunt's niece's like what? They work at Nintendo, and they said not only is Mother 3 coming out next week, but Mother 4 is coming out the week after that. Whoa. You're... I'm not even sure if their relative at that point is really cool. Oh, it's 9 o'clock. You're right. I gots to get going. Gots to get going. All right, folks. I do have to go here. We didn't find any more of those collectibles, so not sure what's going on there. They're really well hidden. Really well hidden. So thanks for watching, folks. I gotta get going. I hope to be streaming um, more Paladins soon because I'm, like, hooked on that right now. Hooked on that right now. So I'll catch you guys next time. So I will uh, see you next... Well, probably not tomorrow. It's Wednesday or later. So see you then.